morning. Good morning. Today we're leaving the beautiful city of San Jose and heading to La, La Fortuna. Fortuna. So we're here at the bus station hoping to catch a bus. We couldn't buy tickets in advance, and so we're hoping to catch a seat. And there's only one bus today, so if we miss it, we are out of luck. Buena <laughs> <laughs> <Pura> vida. <laughs> We made it into the bus station. And just as we got here, they started lining up for La Fortuna. We literally got here just in time. I think we're like maybe sixth in line. Yeah. So I think we've got a spot. It is 8.05. Our bus is supposed to leave at 8.40. So we thought we'd get here around 8.20, but they <laughs> lined us up at 8.05. So if you're taking yeah. this bus, get here early. Thanks to our Airbnb host for that essential yes. tip. <laughs> get here way earlier than you think you need to. Also another indicator that we're in the right place. This line is is exclusively Osprey backpacks, so <laughs> I think we're going to the right place. <laughs> Access denied. Access granted. I just practiced my Spanish for the first time. I made sure that we were going to the right city first, and then I asked how much for two people. <laughs> All I heard was Cinco something, but I think I got the right change back, so. It's actually cheaper than I thought. It's probably only like $7 for both of us to take a five hour bus trip. That's just crazy affordable and I, it's still blowing my mind. We're not gonna be standing the whole time. We won't be standing the whole time, that's true. La Fortuna is at the base of Arenal, Costa Rica's biggest or tallest volcano. And we can see it, it's right behind us, so you can see it from the whole town. It's kind of a neat backdrop for the city. Yeah, it looks like it's erupting, but that's just clouds. <laughs> it's just covered in clouds. It's not active, so I don't think it has uh, erupted in a very long time. We'll have to find the stats on that. So it turns out I was actually wrong on all three accounts. It is neither the largest or the tallest, but it is the most popular. It is one of the youngest and one of the most active volcanoes in Costa Rica. And it also has a really cool, unique conical shape. So there you go. Yeah, it hasn't erupted in this many years. Welcome to our Airbnb. We made it just in time because like 10 minutes after we got here, it started pouring down rain. Anyway, it looks like it's already slowed down, which is part of being in the tropics. It stops and starts all day, but this is our Airbnb and I'm just gonna show you around. It's really simple. 
We only had to walk about two blocks from the bus station, so it's very convenient. The first room is a kitchen slash dining slash living room area. They actually have quite a bit if you wanted to cook a meal. There's a stove, there's a fridge. And one thing that's really nice we might take advantage of is they have a washer. We already have some dirty clothes, so we might do a small load. And then if you come back this way, we've got the bedroom which has an air conditioning machine. So we turned that on as soon as we got here. It's very warm. It's probably in the mid 80s and very humid. So we're not used to that being from the Midwest. We got a bed, we got a TV, we've got internet. And then moving on to the back, a bathroom. Toilet, shower, it's small, simple. It'll do the job. Oh yeah, there's a skylight in the bathroom. Oh, very nice. Even though this Airbnb is very simple, it's kind of surrounded by some jungly nature. And as soon as we came in and we're laying on the bed, I just heard all these birds outside. It kind of sounded like fake jungle noise. I thought maybe they like pumped in fake animal sounds, but after we walked out, no, it is real. There are like a million birds back there and it really feels like we're in the jungle. In the middle of a bat made of. I don't think those are bats. No, I know, I was making a joke. That was a funny joke. Other than that, it's pretty simple. We're only going to be here for two nights, but it will do the job. You look really cool. I'm hungry. So we are going to go find us some food at a local soda. Which is a small family owned restaurant that usually have cheap rice and beans and other local fare. So. Um, we were recommended one by our Airbnb host and we're gonna go find it. So hungry. <laughs> Let's get food. <laughs> no, I like your gray on gray, your tan on tan outfit today. But they are slightly different. <laughs> this is like a light blue and this is like a light yellow. Are they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very suave. Thank you. Rico Suave. USA. <laughs> USA. I don't, I don't think that's that. I got Casado con. What did I get? What did you order? What was it called? Pork. I got some Casado with pork. It looks like a pork chop covered in onions, some beans and rice. little salad and I don't know what this is. Was there something on the menu that I'm forgetting? And then we also got a banana milkshake made fresh because they came over and said, uh, the bananas are a little green, but if you wait a little bit, we'll get some from the supermarket. Either that or they said, we're gonna make it with the green bananas so it might not be very sweet. Mm, I, think, I think this is the less sweet version, but I actually like it. And then I ordered the gallo de salchichon which is a tortilla with sausage. The menu says, with a big sausage. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna go in the video. It's pretty family friendly here. But yes, it says tortilla with big sausage. Good fresh little salad. Ensalada con fresca. I don't know. <laughs> Ensalada fresca. Mm, by itself, the pork sausage can be a little salty, but with the salad on top, yummy. Very refreshing. All right, I'm gonna try this mystery mash. I truly don't know what that is. It kind of seems like a mashed vegetable, like a mashed parsnip or something. It's pretty good, pretty mild, not too much spice. Ooh, yes. Oh my gosh. Whenever we make pork at home, it's so hard to get it off the bone. Mm. Tender, flavorful. It's a little smoky, it's got some char on it. Like it just came off the grill. That's incredible. Potentially the best pork chop I've ever had. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, I haven't had a lot of pork chops in my life, <laughs> but this is really good. I've made a lot of pork chops for you. Oh. <laughs> Yours are good too, hon. 